My name is Maria Cabrera. I come from Guatemala. One of my fears when I was at the shelter were, were questions such as where I'm going to go to after I leave the shelter, who I'm going to be living with, uh, what I'm going to be doing. I was just hoping that whoever I was going to go or live with was a person who will take care of me and will see me as a person with feelings and not just telling me what to do without understanding how I was feeling or how to communicate with me. Fortunately, my the person I was going to live with, my foster mom, she she's a great, she's an angel, I will say. Um, we had a struggle when we first came to live together because I didn't know English. My mom knew very little Spanish and uh, there was a language barrier, but we worked together and well, I learned English pretty quick because she forced me to learn English. Parents, foster parents play a very important role in the foster kids' life, even though some people may say no, it's just uh, the kids had to find their, their own ways. That, that's, it's hard to do that and basically foster parents is not not just letting a kid or youth or, or a young child come to live into your house, it's also making the addition of that child into your family. That is very important for the child's success uh, or feeling welcomed into the family. One of the struggles I went through when I was um, a foster kid was basically a language barrier, uh, lack of education, that because I didn't go, I didn't go to school much in my country. So in class, I wouldn't be able to do the homework. I was not able to speak up and say or ask questions to the profess to the teachers. So I would come home and I would be knowing nothing. I didn't know how to do the homework. My mom took the time to help me with homework. My caseworker Sierra took the time to help me legally, such as. Uh, documentations and all of that. That was it, it. Was a lot of work, and they went all through it for me. And I think it's very important for a lot of kids. I really appreciate all of all of that now. One of my uh, achievements, because of all the help I have had, is I graduated from high school. I, I'm in college right now. I'm at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. I'm currently a pre-med student. I am hoping that I will be going to medical school. One of my dreams in the future is to belong to an organization that will provide health care to people who, who do not have health care and uh, also to travel national in the country and also international. I would love to go back to my country and help uh, people who need, who need a lot of help over there. But also based on what I have learned throughout this time. I also want to help in this country and uh, I know there is uh, a lot of people who need help. And also one of, my, one of the things I want to do is become a foster mom because my mom is a great inspiration for me and my social worker is another great inspiration. Um, some of you may know my social worker from Seattle. Her name is Sierra Rowe. She's the best.